Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP blog admin panel. And now guys, in this video, we'll be learning how to add a admin or a user from our admin dashboard side. So guys, as we saw in previous video to edit the data and update his role. So as per the request, we will create a admin guys. So now let's get started with it. So let's move to this view register.php file. Okay, so yep. And this is the heading guys over here. I'll create an a tag where I'll create add admin and let's design this button button primary. Okay, so let's float end. and now guys over here add I mean registration we are going to add so register add will tell dot PHP and we need to create the file all set now let's refresh and here is the add admin let's click on it we are on the add.php okay register add so as we need the same form as we have seen in edit so let's copy and paste it let's go and register edit let's get the top modules and paste below the footers all set and now guys you need to start with the form so let me just copy and remove all few fields okay let's copy the form and paste so now guys which I don't need I'll just remove that so we don't need the user ID and these fields value fields we don't require so guys I just now removed with that valuable fields and let's move to the button and make this as add user and the button name will be as add user or admin okay so you can just give add admin or user and now guys when you click on this button you're going to form code.php with the method post by taking all the input fields so let's go to the code.php guys first okay and yep let's begin with the code so let's start over here with the is set function you're going to check the button is clicked or not let's use that so we'll copy the button name let me close let's move copy the button name guys and paste same way you are going to get all the field name f name is equal to dollar underscore method post of your input field name that is f name so this f name you will get from your input field which i'll show you over here name attribute l name email password and role as and status guys all set so we have done that while updating so let us copy from below and paste here done and now let's write the query guys to insert the record or a new user so inside double quotes let's type the code insert into table name so my table name is users where column fields and the values you are going to get from your variables so my values are f name L name so these fields are nothing but your database column field let me just show you f name l name email password role as status okay so these fields you are going to call here email password role as and status all set so these fields are calling at this inside single quotes dollar f name so the first name is f name and then second column which should match with the l name okay so let's take this dollar l name and the next column was email so take your dollar email variable and then your password dollar password and then your dollar role as comma and then finally your status value guys all set and now let's run the query 
dollar query run is equal to with the help of mysqli query function guys all set so first will be your database connection and then your query done and now guys let's check this the query is executed or not so you can check out with the if condition if it is true then you will um, redirect back to which page which page okay so we'll move on this view register dot php let's copy this and you can use a header function where we'll locate so location colon at register use exit function to exit so before exiting i want to show the message using session so let's use session where i want to show a message is equal to inside double quotes where you will tell admin or user added successfully done if you want to show this message guys you are using session make sure you have imported i have already imported inside this and now guys to show this message on your view register.php you have to do some code so before that let us write the else part we will copy this and give here and you can tell something went went wrong okay save and you will show the message on again register.php and yep guys so let's go to view register.php view register.php and here is the code guys to show the message so inside this message.php file i have created the code where you can follow up all set and yep let's get back to register page and now let us test guys so let's click on add admin perfect we did not change the heading let's change the heading first so add user or admin let's remove this we don't require and you can add one margin top four let's refresh perfect so now guys let's insert the record let me type varun govind where varun at gmail.com password and we will create him as a admin and yes let's add you can see admin or user added successfully and here is a data guys perfect so let's see in our db so done guys so guys we have seen that how to create the admin or a user from your admin dashboard and now guys uh, let me create one back button here let's move just need to create a a tag create the class button button danger where i want this button to float at end and the button name will be back we have two a tags let's close this and we want to redirect on register view on this page so view register save and let's click here perfect we have got the button let's click on back and you are on the register page so guys we have successfully seen that how to add admin or user from your admin panel and now guys let in next video we'll see how to delete the data from our database of the user table so guys thank you for watching this video and please continue next video please subscribe like and share